Hey, so you want to know about the most powerful flashlight ever made? Yeah, I know about that. I know about that flashlight. And I know the spokesperson for it. His name's Nick Bolton. Let me introduce you to him. Everybody has a flashlight. But can your flashlight do this? Or how about 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 this? Uh, me! Or how about this? Stop! Oh, no. shit! Oh. Oh. Uh, Motherfucker! Uh, the Bell and Howell Tactical Flashlight Can. What's up, guys? Wavy Web Surf here. So today we're going to be talking about this tack light commercial. So this is a late night infomercial, and one of the biggest things that I miss in my life is having cable television just for the fact that you get to see these ridiculous late night infomercials. Man, I, me and Billy Mays had some good nights, I'll tell you, dude. I'll tell you. Years of wear and tear damage. <laughs> you shitting me? But don't get it twisted. This tack light is not playing. And Nick Bolton's gonna walk us through this shit, so let's let's get right into it, man. Everybody has a flashlight, but can your flashlight do this? Or how about this? Look at that tack light. Do you see this power? Illuminates the entire side of a house. It even has an epileptic blast feature on it to send all of your enemies in a fucking seizure. <laughs> So if you get a tack light, I can't promise you it's going to be as powerful as Nick Bolton's, right? Dude, Nick Bolton contributes like at least 200% more power to this flashlight just by holding it. This dude's t-shirt is tighter than a fucking doobie. Like, he's <laughs> he served at least four tours in Vietnam, three Desert Storm a stint in the Clone Wars. Dude, he's ready for combat. He just generates power. A true alpha. Similar to flashlights used by elite military units, the Bell and Howell Tack Light can do things no ordinary flashlight can do. I feel like this isn't an accurate representation of what the criminal would do in response to being spotlighted by a flashlight. I mean, the way they react is like children playing freeze tag. Oh, you got me! Oh, man! You got me! I feel like a more accurate reaction would be something along the lines of... Bro, I live here. Look, this civilian flashlight puts out a pathetic 27 lumens. But our military-grade tack light pumps out an incredible 600 lumens. I don't know if he could flex his tricep and ass muscles any harder right now. Like, can, do you see this? Allow me to flex my ass and triceps so you can feel insecure about your pathetic 27, 27 lumens. lumens. All right, Nick. You want to you want to compare lumen sizes? I'll fucking compare lumens with you, bro. Just just wait. I can put on a, a tight brown shirt and look swole too. Look at my lumens, motherfucker. Look at that lumen. Look at it. Pathetic. Look. 600 lumens. I made myself cringe. And if that something that goes bump in the night turns out to be someone, only a tack light has a super bright strobe that can stun and disorient would-be attackers. Wait, did you just hear what he said? He called it an attack light. Like, an attack light. Only a tack light. Only a tack light. Only a tack light. No, no, he didn't say a, a tack light. light. He said an, an attack, attack light. light. Dude, I knew this was some kind of fucking, like, new government weapon. It's got the seizure blast mode on it. It's got the fucking military-grade DLC machine gun that comes with it. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh, 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 oh. Pathetic 27 lumens. A car battery will stop working in sub-zero temperatures, but even getting frozen in a block of ice couldn't make our tack light stop working. Whoa, dude! Like, if there was ever just, like, I don't know, a fucking ice age, 
you could be frozen alive in the block of ice and you could still see outside of it because your tack light is impenetrable to frost. And it'll keep working when fully submerged in water, even 212 degree boiling water. <laughs> what? Dude, when would you ever be exposed to a situation where there's going to be boiling water rubbing up against your tack light? Like you go to a fucking abandoned, like, remote Pacific island and the local tribes people try to sacrifice you to the fucking volcano, God. Even 212 degree boiling water is tough enough to survive getting run over by a Humvee. Try that with a regular flashlight. Nick Bolton, you smug bastard. You know what? I will try that with a regular flashlight. In fact, I'll try all three of those experiments with a regular flashlight. We'll do the, the Humvee test. test. We'll do the boiling lava test. And the frozen glacier test. Let, let, let's test this out with a normal flashlight. Let's see if it compares to your tack light, Nick. All right, so I uh, don't have access to a Humvee, but we do have a truck. So that's pretty much the same weight class. Let's see if it compares to the tack light. Oh, dude, it's still on. Man, do you see this? Nick Bolton, you can suck my dick. This shit is still on. Body. I'm actually so so surprised this is still working. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the frozen glacier test. Got the flashlight, got the water. We're gonna go ahead and submerge it. It's still on, Nick Bolton. It's still on. Let's take it to the freezer and see what happens. All right, so we're at the freezer. This thing is still on. I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you, but. We'll put this in here and check back with it later. I mean, this thing is submerged in the part where the battery is, so it's blowing my mind, but we'll see what happens. So it's been about four hours. We're gonna check and see if it's still burning. Oh my God. It's still fucking going. That's frozen rock solid, Nick Bolton. Glacier. And it's still going. It's still burning, ever ready. Oh, fuck. Now we're going to do the boiling lava test. <laughs> All right, here we go. The boiling water test. I'm kind of skeptical about this one, but we'll see what happens. So here we go. No! No! All right, so we're, we're just going to double check here just to make sure it's like officially dead. Oh, oh, back from the dead, Nick Bolton. Back from the dead. Dude, this EverReady flashlight is just as good as your tack light. I've proven it scientifically. Call me. <laughs> yeah, but how many lumens are the sun? It goes where you go, so you can feel safe in dark places at night. These reactions, I, I just don't agree with these reactions. Like, that guy was totally about to rob that woman. And then, you know, up, oh, you tack lighted me. I have a nice day. I'm not going to rob you anymore because you just tack lighted the fuck out of me. Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> or just have the right light for emergency situations. Emergency situations. What? This is like the dumbest use of the tack light. Why would you not just use your emergency flashers? I feel like they would accomplish this this job just way better. I mean, with this tack light, you, you look like a DUI checkpoint, you know? There's a DUI checkpoint up there. Better take the back roads and not pass that area. Therefore, I will have no chance of saving you. Do not drink and drive. So yeah, the uses of the tack light at this point are getting pretty ridiculous, and uh, I think the point of this video has been made. 
If you're looking for a flashlight that can survive deep space conditions where you'll be exposed to cold and instantly frozen into a block of ice, this is for you. If you like to if you like to go volcano diving, this flashlight is for you. And if you find yourself on the regular basis getting run over by Humvees, well, well I'll tell you what, man, this flashlight's for you. And this flashlight is promoted by one of the best in the business, Nick mother freaking Bolton man so um I'm gonna let Nick take it away because I know some of you want to go buy the flashlight right now so uh wave your web surf out it's been a good one guys take it away Nick here's how to get yours yeah Chip the I'm the Ripper, your baby daddy's worst nightmare Catch me by the clear, I'll be right there Niggas copy everything we say Louis frames, I know it in my GPA Riding and swerving, cause I'm blowing Goes wide, my trunk bump like Eddie Rowe 